and it is all about uh, what's called a function. So we'll be talking about functions, we'll be talking about a specific function called a mouse event, uh, and then we'll be talking about um, some, some different properties that you can use uh, that you might control within the functions, right? So let's get started, okay? To start off, let's talk about what is a function, okay? So this is a general concept that's used in all of programming, not just CMU, right? So this is your important programming concept for the unit. Um, so here's what a function is, okay? So in Python and in almost all programming languages, uh, instead of uh, kind of repeatedly writing code over and over, over again, what we can do is create these little mini programs, right? So if you think about something that you might want to do repeatedly over and over and over again, right? Like if you're playing a game uh, and you want to move the character forward, right? Every single time you hit like the W key, the character goes forward. Instead of the programmer having to program the same line of code a bunch of different times, they have a function and the function's job is going to be every single time the user presses the W key, move the character forward for a certain number of spaces, right? So that's what a function is, right? It's typically going to be, if you remember from math class, uh, there will be some kind of input usually, right? And then it will do something with that input and then it'll spit something out on the other side, right? And then the rest of the program will be able to use it. So a lot of the stuff we've already been using in CMU are actually functions and you didn't really know about it, right? So the rectangle command, the oval command, the circle command, all of the stuff we use to draw in unit one are all functions that were written behind the scenes by the people at Carnegie Mellon University uh, so that you could draw things to learn about how to program. Let's talk about some quick function vocabulary and then we'll write one together. First thing we're gonna have to do is tell the program, uh, here's what the function is called, right? Here's its name. Here's its important information, right? And then we have to tell the, the program what the function's gonna do, right? So for example, uh, we might uh, create a function that, that's job it is, is to, uh, you know, draw three rectangles, okay? And uh, assign them to a specific color, right? So we might call the, the program, uh, make a function definition that says, hey, let's call this program draw rectangles, okay? And then we will uh, create some parameters uh, that say, uh, I'm going to give you a color, right? And so that would be when we're creating the function, we'll kind of go through the process of defining the function, giving it a name, saying what its inputs are, and saying what the function's going to do, right? Actually writing the, the code instructions that we're going to use, right? But then once we've done that, the program's not going to run, right? That's just us creating what the function will do, okay? Then later on in the program, we can actually call that function and use it. Okay, so again, I know that kind of sounds abstractly a little confusing, so why don't we um, hop over and uh, do a little bit of coding, right? So uh, we're going to go to our sandbox, okay? And so here's what we're gonna draw. Okay, we're gonna create a little function. Okay, so here's how we create functions, okay? We're gonna say def, right? Okay, that's how we write, the, uh, tell the program that we're going to define a function, okay? And let's create the one we just talked about, uh, drawing rectangles. I'm just gonna call it draw rectangles. And so what we just created was the function name, right? We said, we're gonna create a function. It's called draw rectangles, okay? And we can define what are called function parameters. Think of those as the input values. Wait, what are we giving to this function so that when it runs, it has all the information it needs? Okay, you can call these parameters whatever you want. I'm gonna to decide to call mine colors, okay? You could call it X or Y or Z. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as it's not one of the special um, you know, keywords that the program uses, okay? And then once we get to the end of the column, okay, we're gonna put a little colon to say, hey, we're done, okay? And then we're gonna hit the enter key, okay? So now we're gonna move on to what's called the function body. What we just did was what, what what's called the function name, okay? So our, our function name is called draw rectangles, okay? Now we're moving on to something called the function body. The function body is where we're actually gonna define what this function's gonna do. So I'm just gonna make a, a quick little program. And so what we're gonna do is on our CMU screen, Okay, we're going to define a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to say RECT, okay, and we're going to make this one at 100, 100. Remember, whenever we define a rectangle, we always have to say what is the top left coordinate. And we're going to make this one uh, uh, just a square. So we'll say 50 by 50, okay? And then we're going to define a color. So we're going to say fill equals, okay? And then after the word equals, we're going to say what the color is, okay? But instead of me doing something like this and saying red, okay, I can instead say, let's take this little uh, parameter, and tell uh, this function that whatever parameter is defined when we call this function, whatever is given to this function, let's put that here instead. So I'm gonna get rid of the word red and fill instead the word colors, okay? So now I have this little function that's gonna say, that's gonna draw a rectangle. And then maybe I wanna do this three times. So let's create three different rectangles. Let's make it a little fun, okay? So I'm gonna draw three rectangles. Oh, 
this is going to be an important concept. Watch your indentation. Okay, the indents have to be lined up. Okay, uh, and this one I'm going to make at uh, maybe 200, 200, and at 300, 300. Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, so this is my function. Okay, so I, I've created a function name. Okay, uh, I have a function body. Okay, and this is the part that I, I briefly just mentioned is function indenting. Okay, so this is the first time that we're seeing uh, a case where when you're creating a uh, like what we call a body, right? A body of program of a uh, programming code. Uh, if we want to say that this is the body of our function, okay, what we do is use an indent. Okay, so anything that is indented, okay, if I take all this stuff and move it back once, okay, move it all the way to the end, okay, if it's on the same level, okay, as the definition, it is not considered to be the body of the uh, the draw rectangles function, right? If I tab over one time. Now we're going to say that anything that's tabbed over once from the word def is a part of the body of the draw rectangles function. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. You'll see that show up a lot uh, as we get more into the program. Okay. We just did what was called creating a function. Okay. If I run this, okay, nothing happens. I don't get an error message. If I take a look down at the bottom, there's no error, right? It's, it's empty down here where the, the uh, errors would show up, but nothing happened. Okay. And the reason for that is that all I did was create a function and said, hey, here's some instructions. When I call on this function, here's what you're going to do. Okay. But we haven't called on the function, right? All we did was create it. We wrote down the instructions, right? So if you take a look, this first part about creating the function, it just creates the instructions. If I then want to run this little mini function, okay, this program here, I'm going to just call draw rectangles. This is what's called the function call. Okay. And then in parentheses, I'm going to define a color okay and that's the, the reason for that is that this particular function right called draw rectangles takes one parameter which is a color so i'm going to say inside of here let's call it like purple okay so i'm going to call the draw rectangles function okay which uh, what the program is going to do is when it sees this it's going to look for a def called draw rectangles which is what we have here even though it's above it doesn't matter where it is okay and then it's gonna look for one parameter. We gave it one, okay? And everywhere in this program that colors exists, okay, these three lines here, it's gonna fill in purple. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna run a rectangle. Okay? Well, let's see what happens when we run it. Okay, there it is. Three that are purple, okay? And so if I wanna change this now and say, let's make these red instead, there they are. Now it's red, okay? And so what I'm doing is instead of me rewriting this code over and over and over again, every single time I want new colors, I can just keep calling on the draw rectangles function. And all I have to do is change the color. And then all of a sudden it just changes the color, right? And so that's what a function is. Okay. But again, the important thing is that it comes in two parts. There is the creation of the function where we define its name, its parameters, and actually what the function does. Okay. And then there is the uh, function call, right? Every single time we want to uh, use the function, right? We are going to call uh, that name. And then in the parentheses, we'll put any of the parameters, okay? And just so you're aware, there's another definition down here. It says function argument. The argument is what you fill in to the parameters, right? So this is called a parameter, right? That's what I, you know, kind of the things I'm gonna ask for. This green here is what I would call a function argument, right? When I fill in the blank and say, hey, I want the color to be green, that is the argument that I'm using in that spot, okay? So again, just some vocabulary that you'll probably hear as you, you go through it, okay? So some quick stuff about function names, okay? When you name the function, or is it called draw rectangle, there's a couple of things. First thing is names are case sensitive, right? So let's go back to our, progr our program here. If I were to do draw rectangles with a lowercase r and run it, I'm gonna get an error message that's gonna say, I don't know what draw rectangles is, okay? So make sure that your capitalization is the same, okay? And you can see, this is a little thing. If I double click on this, you see how it's, it put a nice little box around a line six, draw rectangles. It's kind of connecting those together and saying, hey, those are things that are written exactly the same. If I change this one, okay, you see how when I highlight it now, it does not connect to line six, right? So that's kind of a good way for you to see uh, visually that these two things are related to each other, okay? So something to keep in mind, it's a helpful little thing that a lot of these, uh, these programming windows will give you, okay? Uh, when you're creating names, it's important to avoid using common Python keywords like true and false, the word none, right? These are already used for other purposes in, in Python, so you cannot use them as a function name, okay? You can't use space bars. You can't use special characters. So I could not, for example, do this and say, call this draw rectangles like this. Hey, that would be bad, okay? 
So make sure that you always have it as one long word. And we're using this camel case here to make it more readable, right? Any, anything else after the first word, we capitalize the first letter, okay? So there's my standard naming convention. Okay, it's called uppercase first letters for each word, right? So either draw oval like this, you might see it as draw oval with an underscore, right? But you're not, you wouldn't want to do something like generic, like function one, two, three, four, right? You want to be descriptive with the name, right? So that we know what it's doing, right? I know that our function here is drawing rectangles. So it's telling me what the function does, okay? And you don't want to make it too wordy or too long. So try to be precise and concise, right? So try to say exactly what it's doing, but don't make it too long. Otherwise it's kind of annoying to use, 